we're talking about, oh, the joyous world of parenting. I would first like to welcome the Mama Monday panel today. We've got Heather Floor. She is an executive assistant right here at Nine News. <laughs> Diane Miles, of course, is here with us today. And Danny Sturgis. She is a very soon mom to be. So we're talking about being pregnant, Danny, and, and all of us have to kind of go back and think about when we were pregnant. But do you guys remember having a birthing plan, like how you wanted to bring the baby into the world? And then there was reality. What actually <laughs> what happened actually. when it was yeah. time to have that baby? Okay, Heather, you're yeah. nodding your head, so we'll start with you. Big time. <laughs> yeah. uh, so my sister is amazing. She had her children, no drugs, no anything, just, Oof. you know, she she's a she's amazing and i thought well that's what i'll do you know yeah, yeah. first contraction i'm like oh no <laughs> <laughs> give me all the drugs <laughs> yes <laughs> it, it, <laughs> to be fair i was induced and i think that that's a yeah. little bit mm -hmm. rougher than you know going in naturally but anyways yes i thought that i was going to be a hero like my sister and that <laughs> Definitely was not the case. Was not the case. No. <laughs> but I also, I went into, they induced me on a Wednesday and I was in labor. Hayden not, was not born until Friday. So Whoa, it was very long. Heather. And they wound yeah. up having to do a C-section anyway. So. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I, I love to tell people, women. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like the only person in the world that had an episiotomy and a C-section. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, that's a lot. Yeah, that is a lot. No, that is real. That is real. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So, oh, my God. Anyways. Man. Wow. Mm. Okay. Good to know. Do you I'm remember, dead. Diane? Like, what did you have, like, a specific plan you wanted? I am trying to remember. I think at 16 and at 18, I don't know that I really fully was present like in those yeah. doctor's appointments that yeah. I probably I'm sure you because you they make a birthing plan I just don't remember if I had one or not yeah okay but things went fairly well I mean they're here and thriving. <laughs> <laughs> we yes, did some, we did a couple things <laughs> did right. Something right. Yeah. right. You did it right. Yeah. My first one walk in the park I mean the doctor was like oh that baby is coming so just push Pushed, pushed again, and that baby was out. The very first one, Ava. Wow. Anna Kate with the 21 weeks of bed rest, um, mm -hmm. and then we went naturally into trying to just do a, a normal delivery, but also did have to have an epidural right around, mm -hmm. once I was dilated to about a seven. And then things just stopped, and I did end up in a C-section like at mm -hmm. 10 o'clock at night because yeah. <clears throat> she's it just stopped like she was everything was on track and then it suddenly just stopped and then the doctor was like all right we gotta go in yeah, yeah. so very different yeah. totally but you know i'll say this much the natural birth versus the uh, c-section they both have their their pros and cons yeah, yeah so definitely. i'm okay with either one really because yeah. i've done both right yeah. but have you done a birthing plan yet so we've been want? talking about it so Nate, my, my husband's incredible. He has, like, since the second we found out we were pregnant, he picked up all the books. He started reading. He's been like, I'll come home and be like, my back hurts. And he's like, we're right here. Let me do this. And then it's wow. fixed. He's just been so amazing through it all. Um, but it was really important for him that we have a plan going into it just because he he can be critical of, you know, medical just what happens in the medical field. There's yeah. so much malpractice that happens all the time, and unfortunately, it just it happens. Mm -hmm. And so, yes, for us, um, we are planning to do as natural as possible, but we do have that. You may be a hero. Uh, well, I might be. <laughs> I might yeah. be a hero, but I am very much prepared to not be as well. <laughs> yeah. um, and we've had that conversation of, you know, he's like, whatever you want to do, if you are feeling like you're uncomfortable, if you're in pain, if you just do not feel like this is the way you want to do it, we will not, you do what you have to do. So he's been very supportive through that entire process, which is amazing. Um, but no, we're planning to go as natural as we can. And yeah, I mean, I, I'm grateful I have a fairly high pain tolerance, but I also have never experienced pain like this. So I don't, you know. You never know till you, never you know. know. Uh, exactly. Yeah, you know, my grandma told me, um, when you're bringing life into this world, you're in this in-between phase between life and death. Yeah. And like, Ooh, yeah. so it is a very intense process. Mm -hmm. I remember like, you know, you see the movies and like women are screaming and like it's crazy. So right. that's what I thought was gonna happen. <laughs> and I couldn't even scream and I was yeah. natural. I couldn't even scream. I just, I remember 
I do remember just couldn't even say anything. It just was like, damn. Uh, yeah. <laughs> wow. This pain is real. Right. Yeah. They, totally. they say it's one of the hardest things your body ever goes through. Yeah. Is, is giving birth. Yeah. And yeah. So well, it's been interesting to, you know, kind of we're we're trying to read books but take everything with a grain of salt, yeah. right? But just, you know, we're really big on working out and eating healthy and the amount of people that talk about you know what you can do for your body pre yeah. birth in terms of you know just continuing with your regular you know routines and prenatal yoga and you know pelvic floor exercises and as much as I'm doing that I'm like I'll pick up a 50 pound dumbbell and be like, is this really helping me? Like, I don't even know. So we're just trying to do as much as we can and stay on track as much as we can as we have been. But I just don't know how much of it pre-birth is really gonna help when it actually comes to having yeah, a baby. So. That baby will decide exactly how exactly. it's gonna come into this totally. world and yeah. you just get to yeah. be here to do it. <laughs> that exactly. baby will definitely decide. Yeah, you she's, just never know what could happen. She's our yeah. kid, yeah, she's, yeah, 100%. She's figuring it out on her own. And of course, those of you watching, if you have any questions for the Mama panel, please join the conversation. Just send us an email to mycoco at 9news.com. We would love to hear from you. All Questions are welcome right here with the ladies on the panel. See you next time. Woohoo! Give me advice. Yeah, we're